Hello everyone. I'm here to show you how to make the Roland SH-101 synthesizer in pure data. The 101 was a really key synthesizer for a lot of techno artists in the 1980s. It was pretty cheap, and it had a step sequence of built-in. We are going to build this thing piece by piece in a few tutorials, working on one module at a time. This tutorial will look at the VCO module, the voltage controlled oscillator. To start pathway, let's put in our interface bits. The number box for the frequency. The slider for the pulse width. Fan arrange control to change the register, shift in octave. We want to make a square wave oscillator first. We want this to be band limited so it sounds nice and doesn't have any weird digital artifacts. I'm going to use the wavetable example for the really useful rich synthesis tutorial number 9. You can look at the tutorial for more information and download the patch for simplicity. We create an array and call it something like square wt. We then send a list of amplitudes for different harmonics. It would be nice to use the square wavetable but there is a problem. We can't change the pulse with the wavetable. Luckily there is a trick to creating a square wave for two sort of waves. We subtract one for the other. Then the pulse width is the offset for one of the sort of oscillators. If this all sounds a bit confusing then don't worry. That is really confusing. So that is one of the sort of wave generators by itself. Sounds fine. Now let's do the duplicate and subtract it for the first one. Then we put in the offset so that we can change the pulse width. This is wrapped back into the range 0 to 1. I will smooth the changes to the pulse width so that there are no sudden clicks or anything like that. Let's try it. Nice one. We can put it in a wee sub patch to keep things nice and tidy. Remember that you need the outdoor audio outlet. I'm also going to use the audio inlet so that we can have audio rate frequency changes later.
cool. Let's look up the range controller, they change the frequency register. The number 2 means it is double frequency. 4 is normal. 8 is half, and 16 is a quarter. We can also put it in a sub patch, why no? Now then, we want to be able to have smooth frequency changes so I'm going to use the audio line object together with a pack so that we can easily specify a smoothing time. This is called, Portamento. You can see that is a control on the front of the SH-101 synth. Let's give it another wee test. Remember this is going to be a module, so we will need an outlet objects to be able to route things. We can also do the other oscillator types. As well as the square wave, we want a sort of oscillator, and a lower register, triangular oscillator. These are both quite simple. We already have a sort of wave table so we just use it directly for the saw. For the triangle, we want a different wave table. Call it something like right, W, D. Again, I'm nicking this for the wave table tutorial so you may want to download it if you don't want to have the copy doing all these numbers. Make sure you change the references to the table in the message and the upgrade object. Finally, because this is a sub oscillator we want it to be half the main frequency so we multiply by 0.5. I will add one final outlet for the raw frequency signal. We all need that for the filter later. See this patch is something like VCO.pd. We can then start to make the interface with a graph on parent thingy. Right click on the patch and select properties. See the size is something like 200 by 190. You then want to get all our interface bits inside a wee red box there. We will come back to add a few bits in a later tutorial so don't worry if it looks a bit empty and a bit shy at the moment. To test this module, create a new patch and save it into the same folder as your VCO. Call it something like sh101test.pd. Then, try making a VCO object. It should come up like this with your crappy wee interface. Let's check it makes sound. <laughs> 
Okay, great, nice one. That's it for this tutorial. The next one is much easier and looks at the source mixer for balancing the volumes of the different oscillators. Bye for now.